Hello, my name is David Vai. I am a Senior Product Marketing Manager with Cadence Design Systems. And today I'm going to be talking about new enhancements to our network synthesis capability in AWR Design Environment in version 15. The new capability allows engineers to develop impedance matching networks for MIMICS or RFPCB designs to synthesize those networks with process design kits or components from our vendor library. So let's check out these new features by launching the software and looking at the network synthesis uh, in a live demo. Uh, from this project, I've launched the network synthesis wizard from the wizard tree and the project manager. Uh, those familiar with net synthesis will recognize the six menu tabs along the top. The tab shown here is the synthesis definition window. Uh, there's a pictogram indicating the matching port numbering that is used to define networks and their port definitions. Uh, with this tool, we can perform impedance matching, interstage matching between two complex uh, impedances, uh, matching for uh, noise figure and load pole performance. We can uh, define the impedance, which is defaulted at 50 ohms, uh, define the impedance at uh, um, port one or port two. Uh, we specify the frequency uh, automatically, it takes the frequencies from the project, but we can override those. Um, but it does make sense to um, to use the frequencies, especially for matching to load pole results. And then we select the component tab. Uh, we define the topology, which is the number of sections to the matching network, uh, and a nice practical capability to to the network synthesis is the ability to define the uh, the first and last component. Um, so like if we had a surface mount component with a lead, uh, it makes sense to uh, have facing that uh, surface mount component to uh, perhaps be a, a transmission line um, to accept the lead. Now the, the change in V15, uh, where before in the first release we, we just had ideal components um, in either a shunt or series configuration, we've now added the ability to select um, uh, components from the vendor library and uh, if we select those components you can see that the uh, the library tree uh, is taking the same uh, libraries that are loaded into the project and all the various uh, components that have been loaded in this library uh, and we can go down and we can select uh, say based on a manufacturer and a particular type say package size and select the uh, values that we want and then add that to the collection of components that are available uh, for synthesis. We can also create files um, of component types uh, that we intend to use for a particular design. Um, perhaps maybe we, we revert to using 0402 or 0603 uh, size packages for different design types. Um, so we can configure different uh, files that refer to the components and in this case, we're loading up a, a library of capacitors and inductors. We could add resistors, uh, but in this particular case, uh, we have no resistors defined. So now that I've loaded up the available components for synthesis, I select OK. And then I could set parameter limits. And in um, the previous version, when I was dealing with ideals, I might have put in um, parameter limits for the, sort of the ideal components. Uh, in this case, they'll be limited by uh, what I've selected uh, for component values from the libraries. Uh, but I can still set parameter limits to my uh, transmission lines so that I uh, ensure that I don't uh, exceed a width or a given uh, characteristic impedance. Uh, I can also insert a bias feed network and, and define these parameters. I'm not going to go too deep into this because we just want to talk about the new features in version 15. So moving on to the next panel is the goals. Uh, this is largely unchanged from the previous version of the network synthesis. And the top uh, is where we select and define our synthesis measurements. This particular example, we're setting our goals based on load pole, aligned load pole information. Shot through this panel, uh, and this particular measurement is for our power added efficiency aligned to a uh, 3db gain compression aligned to the center. Our second goal is based on also uh, aligned power, this time to the, the load, power, lo power at the load. Um, 
again at the 3 dB gain compression point. And then we specify goals. And so we've set our goals for the power added efficiency to exceed 67% in this case. And our second goal is to exceed, uh, to have output power uh, delivered to load of at least 45 dBm. So that is uh, what we do to set up the network synthesis. And now we'll move on to showing the results. Uh, now we've moved straight to the tab with results from a previously run session. You can see those results here. The various uh, topologies that were developed we uh, are in this table. And we can sort based on the cost, how closely we met our synthesis goals. We can also sort by the number of components from the least number up to the most. And then we could toggle through and select uh, different networks and look at a schematic of the simplified topology. We could see the uh, first component is always that transmission line that we set in our criteria. And we'll be able to export this to Microwave Office, but include the automatic setup of some of the display options, the impedance of our matching network, as well as the performance uh, in terms of its insertion loss. And the schematic is exported directly into Microwave Office based on which synthesis results I had selected in the table. And then I will have those available to me as solution sets that I can insert in my overall network and compare how they all perform versus each other. And as we can see, the synthesized impedance matching networks have all been designed with commercial components from our vendor library. And so we are that much closer to building a physically realizable PCB design. This concludes this demo on the new capabilities in network synthesis in version 15 of AWR Design Environment. For more information, visit the Cadence AWR microsite at awr.com or contact your local Cadence sales representative.